Look, I've got just as much right to stand here as anyone else. If those scantily clad Debellites want me to leave, you tell them to come out here and say it to my face. You're not one of their sanctified bullies? That's a relief. Call me Farrakh. I came to Gideon to clear my family's name. But the loose-robed fanatics in the Dibolosium want to run me off. Started with dirty looks. Now I'm getting threats. They think my... It's not true, and I mean to set the record straight. Might take a little snooping around, but the evidence is here. I know it. Want to lend a hand? Don't have much, but I can pay. Thanks for the help. Not easy for Jemaines to make friends around here. The Debellites use that manse in the center of town as their Dibolosium. Sort of a consecrated love nest. There's proof of Grana's innocence in Gideon. We'll find it there. Like I said, the victim was one of the Debellites' high priests. A woman named Rolaine. This was 60 years ago, mind. But my grandfather... Aye. My Grana Cerise was Rolaine's flower bearer. Followed her everywhere she went. When a heap of treasure went missing and Rolaine vanished, Grana was like wood smoke in a windstorm. And without breathing a word to my Grandpa Lier. Way Grandpa tells it, neither of them would so much as visit the Lou without telling the other where they were headed. But the locals wouldn't listen. These damned zealots rallied half the city, gathered up torches and shovels and ran him and my father out of town with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Even outside of Gideon, the rumors followed him. We haven't had a moment's peace since. Bravo. Took an awful long time, what with the Three Banners War and all. But I made it, and I'm not leaving till I settle this once and for all. It might have happened yesterday for all these people, Care. Nobody holds a grudge like an Imperial. If your name is Jemaine, you're lower than dirt in their eyes. I just had a son a couple years back, and he's already catching it on the chin. He's two. An apology? <laughs> I'm not that naive. I'm a carpenter by trade. I'll settle for people not hiding my tools and splitting my sawhorses six times a month. It's about respect. To oblivion with the rest. I... Well, not exactly. For now I can say I have good reason to think there's more to the story. I'll know more once we look around their makeshift Temple of Debella, and I'll feel much better about doing that having you with me. What is it? So, this is the Divalosium. Just what I expected. Ugh, look at this place. These Debellites fancy themselves free-spirited bards blown by the wind. But they've got enough gold to make Zenithar blush. Ugh, doesn't matter. This is where we'll find our answers. I don't know yet. I just know we have to look. Take this. It's a rare bit of magic called a memory stone. Grana Cerise gave it to Grandpa Lier the night before she supposedly murdered Priestess Rolaine and fled. Maybe it'll show us something. Then you'll remember they hold their owner's memories inside them. I only learned about the stone's power a year ago, when a mage passed through Bravil and took an interest. He said memory stones only awaken in the place where the memory occurred. Aye, that's the hope. I know we face long odds on this. Magic stones and lost memories sound like storybook nonsense, but it's really all I've got to go on. How about we start our search on the ground floor? Like I said, the victim was one of the Debellites' high priests. A woman named Rolaine. This was 60 years ago, my... Aye. My Grana Cerise was Rolaine's flower bearer. Followed her everywhere she went. Like wood smoke in a windstorm. And without breathing a word to my Grandpa Lier. These damned zealots rallied half the city. Gathered up torches and shovels and ran him and my father.
Look, the stone flashed. Did you see it? Try to use it. Something's happening. Is that... It's a memory! Who is that? Bringing a book for travel is well worth the Lara's access. mercy! Shame they're so heavy. By the eight, what was that? A murder? Someone recorded a murder in that stone? Why would anyone do that? Wait. Could this be related to the disappearances Grandpa Lierre told me about? Aye. way Grandpa Lierre tells it. In the weeks before Rolaine vanished, a handful of novitiates went missing. None of them were popular enough to raise an outcry. People said they must have just left, trying to get out from under Rolaine's shadow. Grana Cerise helped all the novitiates, cleaning linens, tending the flowers, arranging sheet music. She knew everyone. These people probably would have pinned the disappearances on her, too. But the story took a dark turn after Rolaine's murder. The Debellites decided it must have been a conspiracy. The missing novitiates were all in on the plot. Now we see the truth of it. Can't be sure, but whoever murdered those novitiates might have murdered Rolaine, too. We should keep investigating. You'll take anything that isn't tied down, won't you? You can't be too careful when you're playing with enemies. Another flash. Try the stone now. Not another one. It preserved me. So real. Stealing if you get caught, right? I like reading too, you know. If you ever need an excuse to get me something. our killer again. What's he doing? Gods, what is that? Magic? Did you see those gestures? Can you repeat them? Mara's mercy! Skeletons! Are those the murdered novitiates? I think I might... Come on, Fair. Keep it together. F 
find anything? What have you got there? A letter? Here, let me have a look at it. Oh, and can I have my stone back? I think I've had my fill of grisly memories for now. Clara, Ariel, Edgard. Yes, these were the novitiates. This should bring their families some closure, at least. It wasn't enough that the murderer killed the novitiates. She had to steal their souls, too? How would someone even do that? Huh. I've heard of soul gems before, but not black soul gems. I thought mages just used them on rabbits and goblins and such. These black ones can suck up the souls of men and myrrh? It preserve us. The ledger said the killer traded them, right? Never heard of them. But then again, honest carpenters like me don't do much business with soul-stealing wizards. It's all academic anyway. There's no way of knowing if the trade even took place. Unless that map you found contains a clue. Hmm. I never told you how Priestess Rolaine died, did I? She left to visit Leowin in her carriage, along with her flower-bearer, Cerise, my grandmother. They never arrived. Maybe this map shows where they went. Let's see where it leads, eh? Grandpa said there'd been talk about how Grana Cerise and the other junior priestesses of Debella were greedy. When news came that Priestess Rolling had... I don't see how it could be anything else. Sadly, I imagine the angry people who burned down our home and chased... You're asking me? I figured you'd know. Whoever they are, I guess they like souls? So you do know about them. I figured. You seem to be taking this all so calmly. Like you've seen all this horror and worse. So these... By the eight, I hope not. I can't imagine how horrifying it would be to die... I'll report you to the guard if I have to. I saw nothing. Problem, Sarah. Did you hear about the battle at Fort Red Main? The Black Fist and the Ivory Brigade won the day. Thanks to those mercenaries from Leowin that I told you about. <laughs> yes, you are the smartest lizard in Gideon. But I heard Mayrune's Dagon actually appeared. A Daedric Prince? Here? Nonsense. But I do want to thank the mercenaries for helping Blackwood.
Look, they're in the water. Could that be it? See what you can find. I'm afraid to ask, but I've got to. What did you find? Let me see. Yes! I've seen that seal too many times. See the flowers encircling the face? It's a symbol of Dibella. This is a High Priestess's signet ring. It can't be a coincidence. That skeleton is Priestess Rolaine. We found her! So Priestess Rolaine was transporting those? Why? Did Grana Cerise know about it? They left town together and vanished together. My grandmother's skeleton isn't here, so... By the Eight, could Priestess Rolaine be the killer? Do you think... No, it couldn't have been Grana. She wasn't in Gideon when the Novitiates were killed. The Priestess had access to the treasury. Had the ear of the people. It all makes sense, except how she died. We just... Wait. You should say hello, right? I, um... I'm right behind you. Never have enough of that. That's Grana Cerise, isn't it? She's been here in this cave all this time. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm sure uncovering murderous cults and meeting her grandmother's ghost is run-of-the-mill fodder for you. But for me, this is a bit much to take. I guess there was something to those dreams after all. I know. I should have told you from the start, but I didn't want to scare you off thinking I was crazy or something. It started a month or so ago. A ghostly young woman rouses me from my bed every night and stares at me. Like she wants something. I know it is. She just stared us both in the face and guided us to her remains, right? But what now? She put an end to Rolaine's plot, but no one will believe me. The Germains will keep getting stepped on. They'll say I faked the whole thing. That might actually work. Keshu the Black Finn and her Argonians couldn't give two croaks about Debella and her flock. Keshu's war mage, fire from nowhere, knows local history. He might just listen. Grana Cerise gave us the proof. Let's use it.
No sign? Good. Carry on. Sons, greetings, Biko. Your friend's eyes seem gray with worry. What troubles you both? Rolaine. Ah, yes, the prophet woman these smooth skins mourn. She's been dead for a very long time, but still they cry. It is very strange. But that is the Imperial way, I guess. What did you discover? Something to quiet their hearts, I hope. Well then, that is not what I expected you to say. If this is true, there will be a great wailing in the Dibolosium. Disbelief also. They curse the woman Cerise Germain, and all who hatch from her clutch. Your proof must be hard as stone. I can tell you speak the truth. In the name of Keshu, I claim the Breton Ferric Germain as my charge. I place my hand upon the hist and swear no harm will befall him here, and the truth of this will come to light no matter how grim. Thank the Eight for fire from nowhere, and for you. I never could have accomplished this without your help. I can't believe it's over. These zealots will finally know the truth. I guess I'll stay in Gideon until we put this matter to rest for good. I want to see these people's faces when they come to terms with what really happened. Then, it's back to Bravel in my woodshop. Sooner the better. Thanks, hero. For everything. If I didn't trust Keshu and her Argonians to protect me, I'd flee right now. I'm sure there are plenty of people in Gideon who will want me dead for what I know. But I'm staying. Grana Cerise was a hero, and I won't let her down. Relieved? Honestly, I started all this to get the people of Cyrodiil off my family's back, and to get a full night's sleep. Not exactly selfish, but not a righteous crusade either, you know? But now that I know what Grana went through... Aye, and sadder. But we sorted it right. Spirits at rest, remains recovered, souls returned. I hope. This is as happy an ending as we could hope for, given the circumstances. Just makes me damn glad I'm a carpenter and not a full-time adventurer. <laughs>